Our Father who art in heaven, Today we remember those men and women who have died in service to our country. We pause to reflect on the lives sacrificed while protecting our freedoms. We confess that most days we are oblivious to the price paid by men and women in uniform and yet we live every day in the freedom they laid down their lives to give us. So today, we recall the words of Jesus when he said, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And let us not forget that each life lost represents other lives that are left to pick up the pieces. We lift up widows and widowers, brothers and sisters, parents and children of the service men and women who fought valiantly for our country. We ask for your peace and comfort to never leave them. God, we thank you for the lives of these men and women. May their memory and their service never be forgotten. Amen. We remember many brave men and women who gave their lives through the history of our country to protect us from danger and harm. We salute all those who served in the military. What is Memorial Day? Memorial Day is a United States federal holiday and it's to commemorate those who have died in service to their country. It is observed annually on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day was originally known as Decoration Day, an occasion to decorate the graves of the war dead. Just to think about some of the stats, and one factor I want to bring up is 18 years old. That's when a young man went into service. And when you think about these numbers, a lot of these numbers were 18-year-olds. In the Korean War, 36,914 young persons didn't come back. In the Vietnam War, 59,000 young persons didn't come back. In World War II, 405,000. We think about those persons when we have Memorial Day. And all you have to do is pull up some of the pictures of the cemeteries that we have and see all those white figures out there. Arlington National Cemetery, 19,534. 19,534. And as we think about our men and women had lost their lives, we need to keep in mind one who lost his life. As we commemorate those who died for our country, we must remember Jesus, the one who died for our redemption. You and I, he died so many years ago, but it was for our redemption. He paid our debt. We have a way through his death to a holy father. In Jesus, we will be there. Extraordinary men and women went before us with unmatched resilience, enduring hardship when called upon to defend and liberate. They said, yes. They found courage to rise with every sun, loyalty toward their country, discipline for every command. Even in the darkest hours, they said yes. They cherished and fought for freedom, so those coming behind them were assured of it. And when the moment came for them to give it all, their futures never to be written. They said, yes. 
Today, we think upon their sacrifice and find our way to honor them, saying yes to making the most of what they gave us and filling the earth with God's goodness. We thank them for their yes. They will never be forgotten. If tomorrow all the things were gone I'd work for all my life And I had to start again With just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart It's time we stand and sing 